You're looking at me, Dyke. Dyke, Dyke, Oh, sorry, Joseph. Did you see I get open by? Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, she just went down that way. Why? What's wrong? She's really upset. A girl was just like being really nasty to her there and she called she called her a dyke. So she's really she just ran out there and I'm just trying to see if she's okay. You've been through this kind of thing, haven't you? So is there anything that I could say maybe like to suggest to her? I don't know, um, I used to go to this group, um, LGBT youth, um, there's quite a few of them around local areas. Maybe it'd be good for them maybe just to you know, I don't know, introduce to people that are in the same situation as her. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could suggest that to her. That sounds really good. What I'll do, um, maybe you could write down the website. Yeah. A paper. I'll take a wee note of that. It's brilliant. Oh, that's great. Thanks a lot. Okay, I'll see you later, Joseph. Okay. okay. I'm not going to speak to her, she'll probably start fancying me. She is a lesbian. I can't stand bullying. I think it's a really horrible thing to see and I really wanted to help. I just don't want anyone to go through what I went through or to feel the way that I feel, so I just felt obliged to help her. I felt like an outcast. I didn't fit in. It was really lonely. But after I went on the website, I realised I wasn't the only one that was feeling like that and there was someone there to listen to. I feel a lot better now.